Welcome back to UK News, it's Sophie McCullough speaking today. Today's news is on how some of our kids have been doing impressions of Detective Parables himself. Watch this clip to see if you can spot any of the kids. Aha! Uh -huh. Thank welcome Kingdom Kids. Thank you for helping me solve last week's case. Or oh, speaking about kids, let's look in my case. Uh -huh. Kingdom Kids. Hello, Kingdom Kids. What is today's case? Ho ho ho! Let's look in my case. In a kid, and we'll see you later. Ha oh, ha ha! Ha ha ha! Wee wee wee! Hello, and all your kids. Welcome to my office. I am working from home. I would like to introduce to my assistant, Detective Tyson. We have a mission for you guys to solve. Do you know who's behind the mask? I'm working as to take the parables. The first correct answer will get a mask like mine. Can you guess who's behind the mask? Now over to Amber for competition time. It's competition time and you could be in with a chance of winning a free face mask. All you gotta do is guess who was behind the mask. I need you to send your answers to the email address below and every single prize must go, therefore you have to answer. Remember, terms and conditions apply. There you have it, folks. Make sure to get your answers in. See you later. Have a good day.
And then she went home and she wrote it out in fancy writing and put it in a frame. And we keep it in our house today. And it is, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Let's do it again. So there's some actions and it's trust, stand and be sure. Trust in the Lord. So anytime the Lord point up to the sky and all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Let's try it one more time slowly and then we'll speed it up. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Got it? Let's speed it up. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Last time, I know you've got it, okay? So let's start with the Bible says after one, two. One, two. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter three, verse five, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Keep practicing and let's do a video and send it in to show us you doing the memory verse. Bye. Welcome, King and Kids! Thank you so much for helping me with last week's investigation! Remember, we are investigating the Faithful Hall of Fame. So, let's look at this week's case. And, speaking of case, we need to look inside my case so that we can see the case. But first, we need to go underground into the FBI HQ. Ah, welcome back to the underground FBI HQ. Now, I need to remind you that these headquarters are top secret. So you investigators need to keep it a uh, top secret. And I must say again that I cannot tell you what is behind this curtain or I will lose my job. Oh, ah, but anyway, let's do what we came here to do and look at this week's case, which is inside my case. So, 
This is the information that we have to investigate this case. Once again, we have been given the meaning of what faith is. So we can remind ourselves of the definition to understand fully what we are investigating. Faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things that we cannot see. Uh -huh. So today we have been given the assignment to investigate another person who has made it into the Faithful Hall of Fame. This man is called Noah. The Bible says that Noah was a righteous man. The only blameless person to be living on earth at that time. And he walked in close fellowship with God. By the time Noah was 500 years old, he had three sons. Uh -huh. So God told Noah to build an ark, which is a very, very big boat. For God said he was going to send a flood to wash away the bad things that were happening on earth. Noah got his family onto the boat with every animal in pairs of its kind. And then after seven days, God sent a massive flood. Once the flood had come and gone, Noah and his family and all of the animals got off the boat and walked on land again. And then Noah built an altar to the Lord and provided an offering to God. And God was pleased with it. God then promised that he would never send a flood again. And then God placed a rainbow in the sky to remind them of this promise. Ah, oh, now I know why Noah is in the Faithful Hall of Fame. Building an ark is quite unusual and it's a strange idea. But because of Noah's faith, Noah listened to God and he obeyed him. Noah built a boat not knowing if it would even rain, showing that Noah trusted God as well. So King Dan Keeds, there is a place for you on the wall of the Hall of Fame. So your challenge this week is to listen out to what God is saying to you and to put your trust in what he wants you to do for the goodness of his kingdom. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Hebrews 11. Noah! This is Noah. Noah is in the Hall of Fame because he listened to God. God created the whole universe. He created the sun and moon and stars, the sky above and the sea below. God created the animals and the people. Over time, the people on earth began to do bad things because they didn't listen to God. There was only one man in all the earth who was different because he listened to God. That man was Noah. God looked over all the earth and he saw that everything they thought or imagined was evil. So God was sorry that he had made such a wicked people and wanted to start over. But Noah found favor with God. God told Noah to build an ark for his family and the animals to live on during the flood. When the ark was ready, God told Noah to load everyone into the large boat. They entered in pairs, each with another of its kind. After seven days, it started to rain. The underground waters erupted from the earth and the rain fell in mighty torrents from the sky. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights and then stopped. Many days later, Noah sent out a dove to find dry land, but the dove came back. After seven days, Noah sent out the dove again and it returned with a branch. After seven more days, Noah released the dove again. This time, it did not return. This made Noah think the dove found dry land where it could rest. Noah lifted the covering of the boat and saw that the surface of the ground was dry. Noah trusted in God's plan and God protected his family during the flood. 
Now, the flood had come and gone, and Noah, his family, and all of the animals walked on land again. Noah built an altar and sacrificed burnt offerings to the Lord. God was pleased with Noah's sacrifice and made a promise to Noah that he would never again destroy the earth and every living thing with a flood. God put a rainbow in the sky to remind Noah and all mankind of this promise. Hello everyone, it's Luke here in desperate need of a haircut. Look at the length of that. Anyway, let's pray together, okay? Say this along with me. Dear God, thank you for loving me so much. God, help me to be like Noah. Help me to use my ears to listen to you, my heart to trust you, and my hands to obey you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. We really, really, really enjoyed Kids Church this week. I love you too. See you next week. I love you. Bye.